That's right, viewers. I am sexy. What's going on, guys? This is Anon coming at you with episode 26 of Let's Play Hero of Dreams. In the last episode, we raced the hookshot and we acquired the hookshot. Oh, and before we start, before we get started with this episode, uh, I actually walked back to this cave. Remember this cave? If you don't, this is where uh, you go into that big white house that's like right in the middle of the map, and you pay the guy 15 rupees to go through his caves. Yeah, this is a, this is what's across that bridge, just to refresh your mind. But um, the reason I'm here is because um. One viewer of mine, also a very good online friend of mine, uh, Error372, told me that there was a switch in this room. And then MBW, the creator of this game, uh, actually re-emphasized that there is in fact a switch in the room, and it's right over here. I don't know how I missed this the first time, but yeah. Alright, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's see what the rest of this cave has to offer. Ah, uh, more helmet jerks. I hate these guys. Yeah, I <sighs> You know what? Screw you all! I'm leaving! Jeez. Hate these things. Alright, so, uh... Didn't want to put down a bomb, but I wanted to... Get my boomerang out. But the game insists on me getting eaten alive by Keys. And it's still insisting that I get eaten alive by keys. Why would you want to be eaten alive by a bat? That doesn't make... Uh, well... Unless the bat's pretty big, but... Ah, what am, what am I kidding, anyways? Anyways, uh, here we are. We're actually on the lower part of this... Lower part of this, uh, little mountain here. Go to the left. Bingo! Piece of heart. Number four. We've got ten heart containers. Alright, so now that that's over with, uh, I think I will meet you all back at... Let's go back to Autumn Town real quick, because there's actually a piece of heart that I can get there now as well with the hookshot. So, see you there. Okay, I'm back in Autumn Town, and I actually want to turn your attention to this screen for a second. So you find it kind of interesting that all four colors of Autumn Town appear on the screen. You got the purple trees over here, the red trees over here, the orange trees down here, and the gray trees over here. I just find that interesting. I think it's the only screen in Autumn Town that actually has all four colors on here. So, it's kind of a nice touch there. But Anyways, the uh, reason I'm here is because I want to go back to the rafting game. Yes, that's right. It's time to return to the rafting game. Because now with the hook shot, we can actually get the heart piece that's here. Blah, blah, blah. So what do you say? I say let's go for it. Hopefully I can get this on the first try, so. All right, so. Let's head down here and shove off. All right, so. Um, so there's actually two parts of this. You want to go down, you want to go to the left here. And you want to go down here. Don't turn there, but turn here. Alright, now it might look like this is a dead end, but if you look, if you have good eyes, we can go this way. Now, in this chest is uh is five rupees. Now, there are other like little there are other like little prizes hidden around here. Like I think there's one with a super bomb in it. There's one with some bombs in it. There is one with I think like 20 rupees, but we're not here for any of those. So you want to go down? I think you want to go down here. I think you want to go up here, right? Nope. I uh, went up too soon. I think I went up too soon, so. Alright. Um, I'll meet y'all back at that other island. Be right back. And yes, you gotta pay another 15 rupees if you fail. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? So I think you wanna go, we wanna go down here. Oh, wait a minute, I was going the right way! Wow, I was in fact going the right way. I did not see that hookshot place over there. So yeah, there's nothing in there. 
So yeah, stupid me, you've got a hook shot all the way over here, go to the left, and voila, piece of heart. So, there you go. Alright, so, yep, that's the end of your ride. I hope you enjoyed. Would you like to give it another go? Hell no! I got my piece of heart, I'm out of here. Alright, so, that... I think just about wraps it up for the heart pieces we can get right now. So, well, actually, there's one on the way over to where we need to go. So, um, I will meet you all back at the beginning of Havasu Canyon. Ow. Okay, welcome back to Havasu Canyon. Apparently, the tech type was too impatient to give me a hug there. So... Anyways, there's a piece of heart we can get now with the hookshot in Havasu Canyon. And that piece of heart is down yonder. You take the vines down here, come over to the right, hookshot across or bring down the menu, and let the tech tight get in our way. Alright, let's try to Tech tight. Let's try this again. You know what? Screw it! Tech tight! Get out of the freaking way! Thank you. Jeez. Anyways, as I was saying, piece of heart right over here, and I think that's the second toward a new uh, new heart container. Alright, so that's all the pieces of heart we can get right now. So, let us head off to our next destination. And yes, I still like Bobby's Lighthouse theme. I think I always will. It's one of my favorite themes in, uh, in Golden Sun. Alright, so, now that we've gotten the hook shot, we can actually head off to the next area of the game. Well, that's obvious. So, yeah. So anyways, Havasu Canyon... Havasu Canyon isn't really that big. I mean, I think this is the west end of it, right over here. We got a guy here. Oh, yes, I... Oh, well, I do. Let's call the hook shot. Twin brother Josh, huh? I think Josh is actually an... Uh, whoops. Is actually an Autumn Town. So, uh... Yeah, if you go talk to Josh, he basically says, Oh, the hook shot, the pirate... The uh, thieves have the hook shot. It's in the hideout. So... But if you saw that cutscene, you knew you had to go to the hideout eventually to get the hook shot, so... Anyways, now we've got the hookshot, we can cross the gap. And I wonder how many times they actually said hookshot just in that little paragraph alone. Alright, so... Any hearts? I got rupees. No hearts, though? Okay. Alright, what we got up here? More tektites! Wow. Um... Okay, fine. Alright, nothing down here? Nothing up here? Alright, well, what's down the other way? And I think I just missed a heart. No matter. Alright, we got another way over to the left. And down here is absolutely nothing. What about over here? Uh, more Havasu Canyon stuff. Hmm, okay. And then down here... Okay, we're in a sandstorm, and Serbat Desert! Alright, so we are now in the Serbat Desert. If you can guess, we are heading off to the next area of the game, which is... If you look at that map, it's actually right in the northwest corner of that map. It's got a little white dot, I don't know if it'll show up on YouTube or not, but... Anyways, welcome to Serbat De Serbat Desert, where you get your ass kicked by these guys. Won't even let me get an intro in. But anyways, there is a shop in the middle of the desert. Wow, okay. Well, you gotta, where does the shop have to sell? Uh, okay. I imagine this guy having a Brooklyn accent. Um, let's see. I'm pretty good with everything, so sorry guy, I'm not gonna really buy anything. Alright, so, now you want to head up to the north. Okay, that was weird. 
Yeah, I'm looking at... Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the... Ugh, stupid pea hat. Something. What are these guys even called? I don't even, I don't even remember. I know they're not pea hats. I know I just call them pea hats. But anyways, yeah, I was looking at the top. You notice I jumped from where the shop was, which is like right in the... Uh, right in the south part of the desert up to the northeast part, so... This desert likes to throw you around. I'm just going to put that out there. And I do believe these cacti actually hurt, so I wouldn't advise touching them. Alright, so we got to head off to, uh, let's head off up to the place, why don't we? Hopefully not get turned around like that. Wow, okay. Very interesting. Alright, let's try this. Whoa! Oh, I can't, I can't get past the cow skull. <laughs> I'll link to the past cow skull. It's pretty hilarious. Well, not hilarious, but... I wouldn't expect to see this in a game like this. Alright, looks like we're heading... Heading in the right direction. Yeah, okay, good. Oh yeah, like, the cacti do hurt. I walked right into one. And here we go. Awesome. Oh, great. More of these guys. Can't get enough of these guys, especially here. And I don't want to touch the cactus because I know the cactus hurts. And oh, great. I'm at full health again. All right. Hey, it's a Triforce mark. You know what that means. We got a level coming up. And I believe this is level four coming up. All right. What's over here? Whoa. Let's see, that's another entrance over... That's two entrances. That's three entrances. This place has three entrances? Okay. Well, let's start... Ow. Let's start over here, why don't we? What is, what, what's in here? Oh, this is Irma's house. And apparently Irma is related to Impa. Golden rock in the shrine. Could it be a triangle shaped rock? Oh, well, the, in Ruins Age, the shrine is not even, isn't even that old. If it was built only a century ago. Switches. All right. All right. That isn't for. If that isn't foreshadowing, I don't know what is. Anyways, let's leave Irma's house. And as you saw, there is another entrance off to the other side of the dungeon. If we can get over there, right over here. Ow. Ow. Alright. You wanna beat me up? Go right ahead. Russell's house. Huh, I know a guy in real life named Russell. Hmm. And you're the... One of the Dark World creatures from A Link to the Past. <laughs> what? Yeah, sure. Oh. We don't have to give it back, do we? I really don't want to give this thing back. Hook shocks are cool. Yeah, please. Oh. Okay. Many gray objects. Test it with your hook shot. Wink, wink. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know about that, I'm 
pretty much showed you that you can actually hook hook shot onto those uh I call them gray trees, but I don't know what the technical name for them are. Maybe weirdly oddly shaped rocks. Ah, whatever. All right, so now the only place left is the middle, the middle entrance. Which, if you don't know what it is by now, what the hell have you been watching? But, yep, it's the entrance to Surbat Shrine. Which we will tackle in the next episode of Let's Play Hero of Dreams. Thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next video. Yeah, I know this is a short one, but I want to start level 4 in the next episode, so... Later!